Good morning, everybody. This is Mystic Jen. I am going to be doing a, a tarot reading for today, January 8th, 2019. I almost said 18th, 2019. And this reading is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Uh, so if it doesn't, maybe another one of the readings will. And time is fluent. It doesn't mean it's happening exactly today. This could be tomorrow, next week. But these are just the messages that Spirit has for us for today. Okay? And if you would like a personal reading, do please do see the description box below. I have a couple different venues that I'm working on. I used to work, well, did try the Instagram thing, and that didn't quite work out. Um, but I'm on Bitwine. Uh, you, if you can't get through to me on Bitwine, because when I get on there, I get busy. Uh, send me a request for an, an appointment and we can set up a definite appointment for you or you can check my Etsy shop in the description box below also and you, you can purchase one of those readings as well okay I know I'm late for any kind of monthly readings for um, January but um, my plan is to do a half month, mid month reading for all the zodiac signs, and I will be getting on that soon. I just have a lot of irons in a fire, and I'm sure some of you know how that is. Okay, let's see here. like somebody's getting caught okay um, this looks like some yes this looks like somebody getting caught doing something they shouldn't be doing okay uh, this seven of swords is about it could be theft um, sometimes it's just taking off with what you can get it is about lying and deceit also and I am feeling like that this is somebody trying to get away with some something and they are going to fail miserably and we have the page of wands also reversed so this is telling me pages are usually about messages uh, it could be a young person but I'm definitely feeling like messages that ooh okay Somebody's trying to lie their way out of a situation to avoid a total collapse, to avoid the quote-unquote tower moment. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is getting interesting. Let's get some more cards here. Oh, we have a few that want to pop out and come out here. Um, we have the world, hangman reversed, king of swords, eight of wands reversed, and I need one more card. The chariot reversed. This is a lot of reversals here. And I'm feeling like reversals are usually like blocks or delays. Sometimes it's the opposite meaning. It is somebody. Somebody is done hanging around and taking somebody's shit, taking somebody's lies. Somebody is, has been enlightened. And after the, this enlightenment period, uh, they have made a conscious decision that I am not standing in limbo anymore. I am not gonna sit here and be bold-faced lied to. Okay, and somebody's turning into the King of Swords. There's a King of Swords here who's about diplomatic honesty and truth. He's 
he's like the emperor in the major arcana. He lays down the law. Somebody is putting their foot down. And they are done with this person that's lying. Okay? And this person, they know that this that this is that this king of swords means business okay um, this king of swords has learned their lesson this king of swords could be the one that's doing the lying also okay that maybe he's finally fessing up he's getting caught in the lies um, he's been lying and not telling exactly what was really going on behind the scenes but he can't hide it anymore it's coming out but he was trying to avoid a breakdown. He's trying to avoid a, a catastrophe, okay? So trying to get out of a sticky situation. He was trying to lie his way out of it to avoid that tower moment when he has to face the music, okay? Um, this is an ending. This is a new be an ending, a new beginning. Lessons have been learned. And he's done fighting. Someone here is done fighting. They've given up. They're done trying to hold up the fort. Okay, and they've been trying to stop this tower from collapsing. And there's been and these some of these lessons that's been learned. They learned that sometimes things have to fall apart in order to rebuild. Okay, and this I am also being told in some instances that the tower has already happened. Things have fallen apart, and now. It's time to rebuild, and there's somebody here that's not so sure that they want to rebuild on this, okay? Um, the chariot reversed is somebody not moving forward. So I feel like somebody has just come to, come to a realization, this is done. There have been too many lies, too many cover-ups, Somebody's been really cold and callous because they have some other things going on behind the scenes that they've been hiding. And then there, you have the other person in this relationship who has been hanging there, and they've been hanging for a long time, waiting for something to move forward in the right direction. But it hasn't been moving forward. And they're tired of the fight. They, they have no fight left in them. It's like there's somebody throwing into town. That's why the world's here. Because they're ending this phase. And they're starting over again. Okay. They're going off in a new direction. They've been illuminated. They've had plenty of time to think about things. Thinking time is over. But they, I feel like this ending, the, they're closing the book, they're closing the chapter, closing the door on what is behind them. They're giving up, they're not moving forward in their current situation. Let's pull some more cards here. But there's definitely been a lot of lies, lies and deceits that have been uncovered. Okay? There's and so it and like I said, this person, this one person in this situation has been lying, trying to prevent the tower moment. And here's the Knight of Swords in reverse who's been somebody's been really reckless.
and hot-headed and the knight of swords upright is somebody who doesn't think before they act being in reverse I am feeling that somebody really thought this out before they decided to act and being a knight here there's a lot of thought processes going on here by the way with with these two with with these swords there's a lot of action cards. I see no pentacles or I see no water. Okay, no cups. The love is gone. The stability in the situation is gone. And there's been a lot of thought that gone into this. So they had it, somebody had a tendency to want to act rashly. But, be, but they stopped themselves. They stopped themselves from doing some reckless, making some, doing some reckless actions and making some really hasty decisions. And now, after they thought about it, being a knight, they're going to charge forward, but it's in a more thought out manner. And this is going to be something very sudden. It's a sudden revelation. It's saying, I don't need this. I'm better than this. And it's going to be a sudden exit. It's like the other person who's been doing the lying and cheating. Did I just say cheating? Okay, that just flew out of my mouth. So this could have been about a situation where somebody was unfaithful and lying. And about it lying about their whereabouts with the chariot okay and somebody is going to close the door and not look back and the other and the person that was doing the lying and this and cheating and deceiving is not going to see it coming tower in reverse is also speaking to me as that it's in the process so nobody it, there's no act nothing has been officially done yet but it's in the process. It's like somebody's made up their mind. They're gonna make their exit. Tower's gonna to turn up right. The person that's been doing the lying and deceiving is gonna have that tower moment. It's coming. It is coming, I'm telling you. And they're not gonna see it. It's just all of a sudden, there's just gonna be no communication. It's gonna be like the person that got fed up and had enough, it's gonna disappear. Okay, and we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is speaking of a new, when the, when the person that's been hurt and lied to, once they close that door, there's going to be messages of love coming through. Okay, um, they're going to open themselves up to a brand new experience. Somebody new coming in. The flip side of this coin is the person that's been left out in the cold that they're going to try, they're try, I see them trying to get communication through. The communication is going to be blocked. And they're going to be left, all that they could do is reflect on their actions and maybe take, make changes in their future. Okay, lessons learned. When they finally decide that they want to commit and they want to send messages of adornment and love, it's going to be too late. So if this resonates with you, whichever side of the fence that you're on, if you're the person that you know that you've been in a third-party relationship, you know you've had somebody on the side, or maybe two full-blown relationships, or, th or however many, and you know there's that one, you don't want to let go consider this a warning for those people you need to fess up you need to sit down and talk with the other person and say okay this is what's happened and let the chips fall where they may you have nothing to lose because if they walk because of your confession it's a karmic lesson if if you don't confess if you don't come clean or you wait too long to tell them exactly how you feel, that you're, then you made positive changes, 
you're going to lose them anyhow. So you have nothing to lose. Okay. And I have the Ace of Swords here. The truth is coming out. You can't stop it. And quite honestly, it's better that you tell it than, the, than your mate finding out another way. Okay? With, and if, but if you're on the side, the receiving end of being hurt, being cheated on, and everything, you're going to have a... Just be warned that this person that you have the husband doing the lying does still love you but you have to find your self-worth also self-reflection you close this door now the door's going to open you're going to find love you're going to have offers of love and yes this person that you're leaving is going to be one of them feeling like there's going to be multiple options here for you and that other person knows that as well. And that's one of the reasons why they're trying to hide their tracks, cover their tracks, to avoid that tower moment to hold on to you because they do want to, they, they are going to try to start over with you, but it's going to be on a false pretense because there's still these hidden things that has happened already that they're not, have not been willing to come forth with and we have the strength card so the way again and this is a gentle exit you are finding your inner strength in this whole situation you're finding your self-worth you're going to come up with this victory and this i feel that this exit is going to be a quiet one a calm one it's just going to be poof gone okay now i am going to pull an oracle card from the flowers of the night oracle i actually don't know if i've ever actually pulled on video any of these cards but i it's not a brand new deck i actually got these cards a year ago or close to a year ago but never really used them. And I'm looking through my Oracle decks. What do I want to use? If I need, you know, I was just drawn to this one today. We're going to see what comes up here. I have to shuffle a little bit, so be patient, because I haven't used these cards. And they were still in the same order that they were when I first browsed through them, when I first got them. I had never shuffled them before. Oh, my cat's at the top of the steps and the doors are closed. The door is closed. And she's meowing away like, come play. She has a, one of them balls, plastic balls with the bell in it. Sit down in a chair. She bats it with her paws to your feet. And she'll sit there and wait for you to push the ball back. And she'll push it back to you. It's kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the de called the devil's trumpet. It is death. This is a definite ending coming. What did I just get done saying? Somebody's had enough. The world card is completion. The closing the door, moving forward. Okay, so just let you know, both sides of the fence, there's an ending. Somebody's had enough of moving on. And the person that, like I said, the person that did the lying and deceiving, you're gonna lose. I'm not saying you're gonna win if you confess, but uh, but I am seeing that may, the door may not be completely closed if you speak up. This, uh, this person that has been hurt, they may disappear for a little bit because they're going to have to lick their wounds and find that strength. 
okay? But I'm, I'm still leaning towards that this is over. Somebody's moving on to greener pastures, better things. They're finding their self-worth. They're, they're done hanging on. That final thread has broken. So I feel like there's some kind of truth that's coming out. Whether, and there's no stopping it. It's going to come out. There's going to be communications. And it's going to come out. Somebody's going to be trying to apologize about it. But I'm, I keep feeling that the other person just can't take any more. They can't take any more lies, any, any more false hopes. They have been standing. I want to point a card out here that keeps drawing my attention. It's in the reverse position. They've been wounded. You see that bandage on their head. They have been wounded for so long. They've been defending their ground. And it feels like multiple obstacles coming up that came up against them. And they stand there and still keep on defending. And the wound gets deeper and deeper with every wand that is added. This is the Nine of Wands. This is, uh, comes before, next is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is being burdened too much. Can't take anymore. But being that this came up in reverse, somebody is going to drop the load. The heavy burdens that they've been carrying. They've tried and tried and tried. And things haven't changed. There's been no change. So they're taking upon themselves to make that change. It's going to be over. And a new chapter is going to be beginning. So that is the reading that I do have for you today. I do thank you for watching. And you have a great day.